the craze that started it all. Walmart Magic the Gathering Mystery Cubes. Finally back on shelves. Inside these, you can find commander decks, all foil decks, just ridiculous good stuff. Or get burned in the process. Let's crack this sucker open and see what's inside. I'm super excited, but before we just jump right into this, I got a little note here. Dear Joey Moss, enclosed in this package is a mystery box from Walmart location, Alonic, Arkansas. I hope something good comes out of it. I'll be waiting for the video to come out to see the results. P.S. There are two cards in one sleeve. I haven't seen you pull yet. I already have several copies of each and figured you could use a copy. Sincerely, Zach PLA. I ripped out his return address there. Zach, my dude, thank you for sending this. Uh, on my Facebook um, fan page, on my actual Facebook, I sent out to everyone, just made a post like, hey, I can't find these anywhere. Ever since uh, the one video went viral and everyone and their mom started cracking these open, I, I can't find them anywhere. I went to, oh gosh, about 15 Walmarts in my area, literally spent entire uh, two entire Saturdays trying to find these. Once I heard they were back out, I could not find them for the life of me anywhere um i'd say i spent about six hours the one day and eight hours the other day uh looking for these things so i reached out and my fans were awesome enough and sent me one thank you very much zach we got the saskia the unyielding and inside of here are two booster packs i have been restored no way that's really cool that's a little older and shadows of industry i will crack that in a second Let's see what's all up inside of this beast. Man, thanks again, Zach. You are the bomb, man. Uh, appreciate the content because I, seriously, I've been desperately looking for these. Nowhere, nowhere could I find these. Now, the trick is, of course, if you find one of these, uh, what are the Walmart cubes, if it weighs, I believe it's more than 0.92 pounds, odds are you have a commander deck in there. And uh, in this case, bada bing, he, there's a commander deck right here. Uh, Seske. I'm not sure the price on this. Maybe between 50 and 70 bucks they're going for. So pretty cool. Uh, just a, a nutty amount of mythic cards are inside of here. <clears throat> I mean, these are the these are foils. I mean, just really cool. Commander in itself is something I've slowly been branching. I'm not branching out. I kind of trying to dive into it. Uh, definitely. Uh, it's just a whole nother world because you only get one one card of any card in that deck well you can only have one card I'm, I'm always saying stuff wrong you get one card uh you can't have play sets of cards in the deck you gotta make a deck of 100 cards and uh, it's a little differently played but man this game it, it rocks it's probably one of the more exciting formats i'd say in magic the gathering it really brings people together and i think that's what i actually enjoy about it is the fact that it brings people together um, definitely you can get like a little party, you know, have a commander party one night. Why not? A um, whole bunch of sapling tokens up in here. White of Precinct 6, some good stuff. I used this in a turn one deck. Fun, fun stuff. Uh, yeah, just as you can see, there's only one copy of any, any card could be in these decks. Um, loaded with mythics, loaded with rares. Um, this is one commander deck I've never cracked open before. So it's pretty neat to see this. Zor Ta Druid. And uh, unique cards are printed in these sets as well. Celestia Guild Mage, that not being one of them. Wilderness Elemental. Skull Clamp, I mean, that's a solid card in itself. Soul Ring, uh, come on, the staple Soul Ring, so cool. Felwar Stone, Felwar Stone, I talk. Uh, Grill Signet, Lightning Greaves, that's a sweet card. Actually, I think I picked one of these up because I'm trying to make a budget deck. Uh, budget commander deck for under 50 bucks and uh, this was one of the cards that I definitely needed in that deck commander's fear evolutionary escalation the old necro genesis just a heck of a lot of fun a heck of a lot of fun and if you take a second I appreciate if you guys smack that like button it definitely means a lot I haven't come across one of these in a while so really really neat boros charm terminate I mean the it's a common. It's, a, it's printed as a common in here. That's insane. Um, not that it matters because, you know, there's only one card in each one, but uh, Abzan Charm. Charm. <laughs> Why can't I talk today? Naya Charm. Oh, we got that one right, huh? Grab of the Reins. That artwork. That is legit. Sylvan Reclamation. 
we got here? Order and Chaos. There you go. Anyone ever played Command and Con or not Command and well, Command and Conquer? Anyone ever play that? That's a really good game. But I was thinking more like Heroes of Order and Chaos. If anyone's ever played that, I'd like to know. Far Seek. That's cool. Rampant Growth. Charging Cinderhorn. Back to the rares. It looks like. Stonehoof Chieftain. Let's just read one of these. Trample and Indestructible for eight. Whenever another creature you control attacks against, trample and Indestructible until end of turn. Oh my gosh. I never even knew this card, this card existed. That's, ins <laughs> that's insane. Primeval Protector. 11 drop. Look at the size of this thing. Uh, it costs one less to cast for each creature your opponents control. When Primeval Protector enters the battlefield, put a plus one plus one counter on each other creature you control. That's insane. Conqueror's Flail. Equipped creature gets plus one plus one for each color among permanents you control. As long as Conqueror's Flail is attached to a creature, your opponents can't cast spells during your turn. Quip Reduce. Undaunted. This spell costs one less to cast for each opponent. <laughs> the more the merrier, huh? Uh, Divergent Transformations. Uh, exile two target creatures. For each of those creatures, its controller reveals cards from the top of his or library until he or she reveals a creature card. Puts that card on the battlefield and shuffles the rest into his or her library. Brutal Horde Chief Mythic. Whenever a creature you control attacks, defending player loses one life and you gain one life. For five creatures your opponents control, block this turn if able. And you choose how those creatures block. It's ridiculous. <sighs> the old gods, man. God of Victory. Indestructible. As long as your devotion to red and white is less than seven. Uh, Iros, Arios isn't a creature. Creatures you control have menace. Prevent all damage that would be dealt to attacking creatures you control. And you got Dem Protector here with the Mega Morph and creatures with power less than Dem Protector's power can't block. When Dem Protector returns face up, return target card from your graveyard to your hand. Mentor of the Meek. Man, this card, I got a love hate relationship with it because every time I use it, it just bombs. It doesn't do well. Uh, but then I, when I play against some people, they use it and it works well. Maybe I'm, I'm just, I don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. If Mentor of the Meek ever worked out great for you, let me know. Mirror Entity with the Changling. Until end of turn, creatures you control have base power and toughness XX and gain all creature types. Look at Alicia, who smiles at death. Just so many. I mean, these are so rares. I mean, just ridiculous. 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 Uh, the old changeling. Pretty cool ability. Uh, this card is every creature type. And whenever an opponent casts a spell, you may put a plus one plus one counter on a Toron Mauler. Mana Gorger Hydra. Trample. Whenever a player casts a spell, put a plus one plus one counter on Mana Gorger Hydra. Wild Beast Master up in here. Whenever Wild Beast Master attacks each other creature you control gets plus X plus X on end of turn where X is Wild Beast Master's power. Just so many really neat, really cool cards. Unique cards, I must say. Um, Michael Hall. This is one of my favorite cards, honestly. Make a deck around this. It's a five drop with Devour 2. And for those of you not familiar with Devour 2 or what Devour is at all, as this enters the battlefield, you may sacrifice any number of creatures. This creature enters the battlefield with twice that many plus one plus one counters on it. Now here's the kicker. At the beginning of your upkeep, create a one one green sapling creature token for each plus one plus one counter on Michael Michael off. That is ridiculous. Very overpowering. Um, once you can get that pulled off and sacrifice enough creatures. Uh, just, it's it's out there, man. Ankle Shanker, I just like the name of that card. Thunderfoot Balath. Still on rares, Stalking Vengeance. It's an avatar, big old, big old beast there. Sunforger, Blind Obedience, Beastmaster Ascension. Cool card as well. Whenever a creature you control attacks, you may put a quest counter on Beastmaster Ascension. As long as Beastmaster Ascension has seven or more quest counters on it, creatures you control get plus five, plus five. In the right deck, wow. Just saying. A lot of creature heavy. Just, yeah. Everlasting Torment. Players can't gain life. Well, that stinks. Damage can't be prevented. Well, that really stinks. All damage is dealt as though it's, it, its source had wither. And wither, a source with wither, deals damage to creatures in the form of minus one, minus one counters. When night fell, the plane itself was scarred. That's amazing. It was scared. It was scared, guys, not scarred. All right? Get it right. Breath of Fury. Oh, my gosh. There's so many. There's so many rares, I don't know. Artifact Mutation, Aura Mutation, Crackling Doom. Well, there must be like 25, 30 rares and mythics in here, probably more. Uh, Utter End, Shamanic Revelation, jeez, man. Clan Defiance, I think we're finally getting to the end of it here. 
uh, Lavalanche, Caves of Colas, Dragon Skull Summit, just so many hits, Exotic Orchard, Grand Coliseum, uh, enters the battlefield, add a color to your mana pool, add one mana of any color to your mana pool, Grand Coliseum deals one damage to you. Carplusen Forest. Moss, good old Joey Moss, Warp Bridge, there you go, Rootbound Crag, nice, Spine Rock Knoll, Sun Petal Grove, Windbrisk Heights, wow. And then uh, to finish it out, there's a bunch of uh, lands here, I believe. Yep, a few more uh, non-basics. Really, really cool. Jungle Shrine, Nomad Outpost, Orza of Basilisk. There you go, Sand Steep Citadel, I needed some of those. Savage Lands, Terramorphic Expanse. Really cool, Zach, I appreciate you sending it. Let's see what's up inside these other two, uh, two packs here. And then I'll open this guy. This guy. Can't wait to see what's in there. We'll save Avacyn for last. Good luck. Hope you get something nasty. All right. We're out of the uncommon, baby. Where is Axel Rick? Scourge Wolf. All right. All right. Uninvited Geist. That's cool with the flip. All right. Nothing insane there. Avacyn restored. Oh my God. I. What? Don't steal. Bad things will happen to you. Like Joey Moss will get surprised and not realize one of these things are inside of this sucker. Oh my gosh. Uh, yeah, bad things will happen, kids. You get bent over. You don't want Bubba slapping you upside the pooper, all right? You don't want that. What is going on with this? This is the weirdest thing I've ever seen. Uh, cool. There's not even that many cards in here. What is happening? Archangel? Avenger? You, you got robbed of a rare, bro. Well, only on bad boy. <laughs> what happened there? Okay, that's different. Uh, that's a first ever. I've what? Never seen that happen. Uh, I don't even know what to make of that. Wow. Okay. Uh, what? <laughs> okay. Oh, what is this, man? Angrat the Flame Chain, my dude. Legendary Planeswalker. Each opponent discards a card and loses two life. Gain control of target creature until end of turn. Untap it, it gains haste until end of turn and sacrifice at the beginning of the next end step if it has converted mana cost three or less. For minus eight, each opponent loses life equal to the number of cards and here's her graveyard. Pretty sweet card. I always want to make a, a deck around him. Oh, and of course, of course, the reincarnated dragon Dargoth. Flying and trample with haste. If Dargoth reincarnated, would die instead exiled with three egg counters on it. At the beginning of your upkeep, if Dargoth is exiled with an egg counter on it, remove an egg counter from it, then... If it has no egg counters on it, return it to the battlefield. It's a 7-7. Seven, seven. Gotta love legendary creatures. This was a really cool opening. Very fun, man. I appreciate you sending this out to me because, man, I put in some work trying to find these cubes, uh, and I just couldn't do it. So thank you very much, man. Definitely thumbs up. Zach, you the man. Appreciate it, man. Love you guys. As always, PLA.